How's it going? Man, it's going great. Welcome. When you said you were going to send me a little something to sell, it, it, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but we got it. Come and check it out. I don't think it's very little. It is not little no. at all. A couple days ago, the seller shipped me a dozen mystery crates. I mean, look at how much space it's taken up. Lo and behold, they were filled with sections of a massive train layout. I bought train set originally because I thought it would be a lot of fun to play with. I did have a lot of fun with it. Well, everybody likes toys, so that was a big toy. What's the story of this thing? George Pacific had this built back in the early 70s. It was built for the Festival of Trees down here in Georgia, and they paid about 75000 for it at that time. Wow, 75000 for a train set. Adjusted for inflation, that's over $400,000 today. I'm not sure it's going to get quite that much at auction. I want to play with it. You got any cars? I think they sent down without any cars or anything with it. Obviously, train collectors are going to be our most likely bidders. They're already going to have engines and all sorts of rolling stock. So hopefully, a trainless layout won't affect the value too much. Let's crawl under here and see if we can't figure out how it works. Yeah, Command was... Central. Can't wait to get this thing going. I haven't used it for a couple years. I have no idea if it works or not, Paul, to be honest. It's hard enough to market and sell a massive item like this, but if it doesn't even work, forget it. We're gonna need an expert with a set of trains to test this baby out. So what do you want to get for this thing? I'd like to get at least 3500 for it if I could. I'm gonna do my best for you. If I get 35, I wanna buy another hot air balloon. <laughs> I fly hot air balloons for a hobby, and I want to buy another hot air balloon. Oh, my goodness, Frank. You're never going to grow up. You're going to sell your train set to buy a hot air balloon. I want to hit Frank's price, but I don't know. The train layout looks cool, but in reality, it's dusty, 40 years old, and it might not even work. Frank spent a chunk of change to ship it here, so we'll do our best to drum up some interest, and hopefully we'll get him some good money. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you. you for bringing yeah. it. Let's get this thing signed up, and okay. we'll get it sold. Hey, Paul. Hey, I'm Scott from Train Master Miles. Oh, I just trains you asked for for the layout. Yeah. I brought in Scott to check out the massive train layout. I'm kind of on the fence about this item, but Scott used to work for the railroad and he owns a model train store, so I'm hoping he can give me a good valuation of this item. <laughs> check it out. Yeah. This thing was built by Georgia Pacific, I think late 70s. Now, other than that, I don't know much about it. Well, you judging know. by the track work, I'd say it is late 70s. Mm -hmm. The buildings, though, those are all custom made. The unique part of the layout is that lumber mill scene. That is much larger than the average buildings that are built in model railroad, and they took a lot of work to build. There's how many hundreds of hours involved right. in just building this scene. What's a tree go for at the hobby shop? Anywhere from two to five dollars. Really? Yeah. There's at least a thousand trees here, I'd say. It's the whole forest. Let me show you the train I brought for you. All right, let's do it. The train seller didn't know if the layout worked, and since it didn't come with any trains, I asked Scott to bring some so we could test it out. I brought you a Southern Railway train. That's the railroad I worked for. And if we can't get the trains to run, this layout's gonna get left to the station. Oh, we're going now. Yep. We put the train on the track and off it went. All aboard. You can get a shock from that, can you? No. No. It's about 12 volts. Put your tongue down on it, you probably get a shock, but uh, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if it's got a motor, I've got to take it for a test drive. Let me add those controls. Let me drive. What do we gotta do? One to a hundred? I want one that goes about 105. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh, run away, tree! Run away. All right, I got back. Hey, I'm coming. I'm backing in. Now just bump it and it'll hook on. Mm -hmm. Slow her down. All right, stop. Slow her down. Oh. We're hooked up and everything, but I got the caboose the on. The caboose is on the we're front. All, we're all jacked it's up. It's all wrong. But it is working. Oh, it's, it's kind of tugging up that hill, too, isn't it? Mm hmm. Look at there, huh? Any clue as to how high it could potentially go? I wouldn't think you'd get at auction much above 10. I mean, this is good. I love that. $10,000? This old set's worth something after all. That's almost three times as much as Frank wanted. Now I've got to market the heck out of it so I can get some hardcore collectors on track for the auction. I'm going to sit back here and play. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Anything. Next on the block was that massive model train layout. It's something any model train aficionado would love. The seller only wanted $3,500, but my expert says it could fetch $10,000. If we get if we get anywhere near what I'm looking for, I'm wanting to get another hot air balloon. This was built by Georgia Pacific back in the 70s. Listen, this is only one small section. There's like 21 feet total. The train was too big to bring up on stage, so they had a monitor sitting up on the stage, and I thought that would really help pump the crowd up a little bit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
12.50, now 15. Maybe it'll be 12.50 here, now 15 on the phone. Field I need 1,500. 15 to bed. Maybe yeah. 15, now 17. 17. My phone bidder really wanted that train set, but we had some competition in the crowd. What do you have? Here, yeah, two grand. I have 2,000. Here, get about two. Get about two. Get two. Two and two and two and two and two and two. 2,100. 2,100. 2,200. Here, there. 21. One, 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 two, two, two. After raising up to $2,100, bidding just lost its steam. 21. Now you're out. 21. Two. Anybody else? I'm I was really hoping it was just a stall and things would pick back up. Here, one, 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 two. What's it going to be? I have. But it didn't. So, 2100, but it goes to 60. I think that because of the size of it was just too big for the average person, I am extremely disappointed. There goes the balloon I wanted to buy. It's going to London, England. The buyer must have been thrilled to get it for $2,100 because he's probably going to have to spend twice that to get this big boy across the pond. You bought it. You bought it, love. The train layout didn't bring as much as we had hoped, and I never like it when a seller's disappointed. But happy buyers, they come back to bid another day, and we got to look at both sides in the auction business.